Hello Aquarius, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do a reading regarding the person you have on your mind for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Again, this is regarding your love interest. If this is not your kind of spread, I've already uploaded your weeklies and uh, your monthly. So this is again for the ones that have a person on their mind. They would like to know what their energies are. All right, so we're going to look at their feelings, actions towards you, how they view you, what are their intentions, where are you both mutually at, and what do they see the best possible outcome for November. If you are interested in the extended, you can find the link in the description box below. It's going to be regarding both of you and how you mirror each other and so on. All right, Aquarius, please, the person they have on their mind. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. of cups is here okay their feelings the six of pentacles moon in taurus for some of you um there is a generous sharing uh type of feeling there's some type of harmonious balance we will see and clarify and see the rest of the uh, reading if it's romantic or not right now it's not necessarily romantic it's just someone that is very much wants to balance or share share or open uh, things towards you um, moon in Taurus though it's beautiful it's exalted and I feel like it's always luxurious it's like they um, no matter what they feel like you guys have a lot of things in common and there's a generous approach to you too yeah the moon again here there's something about feelings though because the moon does have emotions and feelings that's what represents not the moon has but the moon represents <laughs> feelings and emotions well, their actions with the High Priestess, uh, unless they want to reveal some type of secrets here, they're coming up with intuitive energies towards you. Secretive, maybe not very open. Let's, let's clarify. There is an um, intuitive bundle, which I've been getting that for you guys a lot, this High Priestess for November. It's so interesting that it keeps coming for Aquarius, Piscean as well. How do they view you as someone very attractive, someone here that stands above everybody else, nothing compares to you, very successful, six of wands, Jupiter in uh, in Leo is beautiful, especially how someone views you. I mean, everybody wants to be viewed like the six of wands, right? Attractive. Some of you, maybe they, they look at you as a type of wanting to get attention easily seen uh as you know you know easily seen as i want to say as someone that you know has a certain status or admiration um they may view that they admire you the page of cups is their intention so uh, again piscean it does not have to be cancer pisces scorpio it does not even have to be that it's just someone that wants to express love now we're getting into the cups right their intentions is all about love. It's expressing love, messages of love, emotional bond. Okay, so this now tells me a lot more. Where are you both mutually at is the lovers. Isn't that interesting, right? Both of you feel a certain magnetic pull towards each other, mirroring soul, triggering reflections, all that uh, with the lovers. And as we know here, the lovers are coming in the forbidden. <clears throat> so there's something forbidden about both of this connection. Should I do it? Temptation. Two people that want to be uh, with uh, one another, but they're tempted. They're not supposed to be. Hmm. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What they see best possible with you is the three of swords. I want to clarify this because, again, these two together change the story there's something secretive with you guys because the three of swords what they see possible is heartbreak separation or uh, some type of entanglement for some of you not all of you Still looking at the cards they have the page of cups that they want intentions are about expressing love is it an apology for some of you or opening up all right so let's see what is the six of pentacles as feelings one more the 
Ace of Wands. Okay, so definitely feelings. An exchange of passion, harmonious energy where you both share this passion, this new beginning towards each other, chemistry, uh, like something that is being reborn. Again, with the Ace of Wands, it has to be reciprocated. I don't know if they feel like you both um, want this. You both mutually feel the same. I'm, I'm getting tangible, tangible things, feelings of passion. But then they're coming with the High Priestess, Aquarius. Why the High Priestess as actions? One more. I got two. Okay. The High Priestess is again here with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups, which is something about the past, memories of the past, and feeling stuck. There's some type of laws between the two of you, marriage, commitment, legal matters, right or wrong, that keeps the High Priestess away. And when I say the High Priestess keeps this person's actions away, there is reunion, there is uh, celebration and engagement, but again, the justice is kind of holding here the pros and the cons the balance something about completely different um different decks here but as we can see there's a, a situation of temptation fate temptation karma destiny between the two of you because look someone um Can really hurt themselves in this relationship if they act in a way that has you know consequences that will destroy someone's soul someone's connection and that's where you know the high priestess is kind of using the best knowledge here when it comes to coming together unavailable where are you both at where you both can ex again remember we're looking at this person where you both can exchange this passion and then also be careful of the consequences that both of you in the end, especially since they have a lot of admiration and look up to you. This person is very careful not to make a decision that will have dire consequences. Commitment, marriage and vows for some of you. Why the six of wands? One more. Yep, the Six of Cups, the King of Cups, some of you, Scorpio energy, I have Leo, I have all the other Aries and so on. There is something very beautiful in, in the way that they look at you. Again, past memories, friendship, adoration. Something that brings them back, a beautiful partnership. Aquarius that they have this excitement and they have these memories why is the six of cups with the six of wands here one more what is that eight of pentacles I don't know if you're good at your own field for some of you or there's they treasure here some type of memories and the way you know also that you have those made those memories king of swords is here but that eight of pentacles is just someone that is protecting their assets or you know something that they treasure that they really value and it's coming with this connection friendship connection working together accomplishment status achievement is what you know they that's how they view you I don't know for some of you if you help this person. What is the page of cups? As intentions. One more. So they want to keep... I keep getting that there's something that they're trying here when it comes to romantic feelings and something uh, when it comes to your guy's status or... Um, pros and cons and consequences because this page of cups coming with uh you know with the two of pentacles there's something about the waiting uh 
or weighing the options and seeing should I express this feeling they want to express in the end whatever juggling back and forth they want to express but remember with the high priestess they also have to follow their intuition and make the right decision by following the the laws here of whatever it is both of you that are bound by number six here has been uh coming a few times six of pentacles here six of one six of cups the lovers the major arcana here with number six so you can see this harmonious energy and that's what they're having here balancing again the, the justice card balance it's all about this balance between the two of you the right timing and the moment what is the lovers mutual one more I'm gonna get whatever fell here nine of swords yeah and the four of swords you guys are really worried about um, coming towards each other in a romantic way you both want this but you um, for some of you if you're not talking this is stresses you out because you feel tempted to come towards each other romantically but there's a lot of worry in the three of cups and the disappointment and the heart and the six of one someone's status someone's pride someone's friendship as well is here at stake that's where you are worried anxious trying to recover as you think of each other and the connection you have why do they see the three of swords here with you heartbreak pain and separation one more the magician of pentacles there's something venus energy there's something uh, about both of you individually they feel like this manifestation of both of you going after what i don't know if they feel like in the end there's someone that is not going to commit first of all for some of you there's a person that is not commit mal or or wanting to be single uh, but they again they're, they're looking at the best of how to recover with manifesting here where both of you are financially free or independent um but I'm getting a non-committal type of energy as what they see possible. Remember, we're looking at November. Or someone here needs to be single and free from any other attachments. And that's what keeps this person away. Though they feel like there's a reciprocated, uh, passionate energy between the two of you, they know that right now someone is not fully committed or cannot be fully committed in this connection. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.